Hello, I'm Ashley from Through the Loop Yarn Craft, and today we're going to make the Halen washcloth. This washcloth is full of texture and really easy to make. It's great for any skill level and uses just two basic stitches with a variation of the single crochet to get the gorgeous texture. These dishcloths uh, finish up to about nine inches by nine inches in size, laid flat, and that was a for my measurements before blocking. I used about 90 yards of worsted weight cotton yarn and I used my favorite dishy and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And of course I used my furls odyssey hook. This is a super quick and fun pattern and it gets quite meditative once you get going on it. It's a great one to whip up while you're binging some Netflix. So let's gather our supplies and we'll make the Halen washcloth. All right, so we are ready to get started. So to begin, we're going to make our slip knot and we're going to do a chain of 28. If you would like a dishcloth of a different size, just make sure you do your multiples in any even number. So I've got my chain of 28 and we're ready for row one. So row one, we're going to begin in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, and we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to do a single crochet in each chain across. So go ahead and continue down with a single crochet in each chain for a total of 27 single crochets. So here we are at the end of row one with just a few more single crochets left. And to finish off row one, we are going to chain three and then we are ready for row two. So turn that around. Now for rows where we use single crochets, our ch beginning chain will not count as a stitch. However, there are two rows in this pattern where we will use double crochet and that beginning chain three is going to count as a double crochet chain one. So that's our first stitch. If this is our first stitch, we're gonna skip the next stitch and then we're gonna work a double crochet into the next. And then chain one. So you just wanna make sure that you don't crochet into this first stitch right under that chain. You skip a stitch and go to the next one. And then we double crochet chain one, then we're going to skip a stitch and double crochet chain one into the next. And that's going to be repeated all the way across. Skip one stitch, double crochet chain one. Go ahead and complete that all the way across for a total of 14 stitches. And I'll meet you right back here. All right, so I'm ready for the last double crochet, which we want to get right into that last stitch there. And we are done row two. So at the end of row two, we're just going to chain one and turn. And so row two gives you that kind of spaced checkered look. Now we're ready for 
row three. And row three is just a basic single crochets across. So we're going to begin with a single crochet right at the bottom of this chain because this chain is not going to count as a stitch. So one single crochet into that very first stitch. And now we're going to single crochet into this chain space and then single crochet into the top of that double crochet and single crochet into the chain space, single crochet into that next stitch. And we're just going to repeat that again all the way across to the end for a total of our original 27 stitches. So here I am at the end of round three. I've just made my stitch into this, the last double crochet, and we're going to do a single crochet into that last chain space. And because this chain three counts as a double crochet, we're going to do one more into the top of that chain three to finish off that row. And it gives it a nice clean edge there. So now we are ready for row four. So we're going to chain one and turn. So row four is now our repeat row. And this is going to make up the majority of the body of the cloth. This is where the variation of the single crochet came in that I was talking about earlier. And we're going to be doing the paired single crochet. It's very similar to a single crochet two together, if you're familiar with that, and it's not hard to do at all. So we're going to begin with a single crochet into that first stitch, again, the one right under that chain. And now we're going to begin the paired single crochets. So how a paired single crochet is different than just a single crochet two together is we're going to insert the hook into this same stitch we just used, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then we're also going to insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and we want those three loops on our hooks, yarn over, and pull through all three. So there's one of the paired single crochets. Now the next one, we're going to do the same way. Insert into that same stitch we just used, pull up your loop, and insert into the next stitch for three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And we're just going to do that all the way across. And you'll want a total of 27 stitches. So insert, pull up your loop. Remember to use that same stitch you previously used. And then the next stitch, yarn over and pull through all three. So let's just continue that across and I'll meet you at the end. So I'm getting near the end of this row. And so for this very last one here, we're going to just use the last two stitches. So insert from the same stitch as the previous and that last stitch. Perfect. Now we will chain one and turn. So for row five to 27, we're just going to repeat row four. And it'll just be the exact same thing. You want to start with just one single crochet in that first stitch, and then work the paired single crochets all the way across. So go ahead and finish rows five through 27, and I will meet you 
right back here to do the last three rows. All right, so here I am finished up to row 27 and now we are ready for row 28. So again, after row 27, we're just going to chain one and turn. And for row 28, we're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch across. Again, we want to have that total of 27 single crochets. All right, so I am finished row 28. And moving on to row 29, we're going back to the double crochets. So we are going to chain three and turn. And we're gonna do it just the same way we did row two. This chain three counts as a double crochet, chain one, and then we're going to skip a stitch. So skip the stitch right under the chain, skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into that next stitch, leaving one space between there, and then chain one and work, skip one stitch and work a double crochet into the next. And repeating that all the way across, just as we did for row two. are finishing up row 29 and then we will chain one and move on to our final row, row 30. And for row 30, we're just going to single crochet across again as we did in row three, working into each stitch and chain space. And we want a total of our 27 stitches all the way across and then we are finished up. And there we are, finished up row 30. So we can just go ahead and tie that off and weave in our ends and we are all done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed making the Hey Lynn washcloth. I think it's such a nice, soft textured cloth. It'll make perfect gifts and spring market stock. Before you go, I invite you to subscribe and like the channel. Let me know that you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to pop on over and take a look at some of the other stitch and pattern tutorials I have on my channel. Again, thank you so much for crocheting along with me and I can't wait till next time.